I'm sure you'll agree that we human beings are very easily distracted, aren't we? Uh, we drift off, if we're doing jobs that we don't like or if, we've, if we're doing jobs we've done for a long time, it's very easy to drift off and think about something else. When we're worried, we drift off. If we've got worries about money, or we're worried about the kids, or we've got relationship problems, or we've got ill parents, our mind is bothered by these things, and the tendency to drift off and not pay attention to what we're doing is pretty high. So as human beings, it's just natural that we are distracted a lot of the time by other things. Uh, think of one of the tasks that most of us do every day when we're at home, uh, around the house, going on holiday, is driving, isn't that so? Uh, many of us are so used to driving, we do it in automatic, not the gear, we do this in automatic. We don't think about what we're doing. And sometimes we get home before we even know we've got home. So in other words, we haven't been concentrating on what we've been doing. And that's an example of where just by grace we don't have accidents. So a big problem for us humans is staying focused on the job, particularly when it's a boring job, particularly when we've done it a hundred times, particularly when we're quite confident about doing it. And I'm sure you know some of the incidents you've seen have been caused by people getting used to the job, being familiar and being hurt. So we've got to fix it. Now the problem is there's not much work being done on this. There's been some work being done in the aviation industry, but not much generally in industry and in the work site, particularly in oil and gas or in the rail industry or in shipping. There's not much being done on helping with this. We've developed a technique over the years called using the second mind. And I'll explain this to you. Uh, it's, see, it sounds crazy to begin with, but once I tell the story, you'll identify it straight away and then we'll devise some techniques of how you can apply this in the workplace. So the story goes like this. Human beings have two minds working at the same time. We've got the first mind, which you're using now. We're thinking. When you write, when you calculate, when you join the wires, when you trip the pipe, when you change the valve, when you're involved actively, your first mind is engaged and you're thinking and you're conscious. You're awake. You're there. But as you also know, we humans have a second mind that sits at the back here. Some books call it the subconscious. And this second mind sits there all day and all night and it reminds us about a million things, doesn't it? It tells us when the car insurance is going to drop out. It tells us when the kid needs new rugby boots. It tells us to get the foreign currency for the holiday. So we get these reminders coming in. Probably a hundred a day we get when the second mind starts telling us of all the things we have to remember.